Hello, this is Julie. Welcome into the Thrifty Paper Garden. I decided to do this video because people have been asking that the spools that my husband makes and we sell on our Zibit store, what do you do with them? And besides displaying them, which is kind of a fun thing to do in your craft room or family room or such, I am going to show you some of the things that I do with the bobbins and spools. I have this bobbin in a candlestick and it has some hair pieces that I've wrapped around the bobbin and I will eventually use the flowers but in the meantime I display it in my craft room and it's kind of a pretty little display piece so you could wrap anything around there that you might use in your craft room so there's lots of ideas there and I like to wrap fancy ribbon around it and I can use this displayed in my craft room or you can put your various laces and trims so it's a nice way to keep them organized like I say I like to display them and when I see it I use it and of course when I use it then I can get some more so that's a fun way and I like to use it as a washi tape holder and the flat end of the bobbin will sit up straight, stand up straight on a surface and you can display your washi tapes and I keep one on my desk of them, the tapes that I use most often and you can just pull them off the roll or slide some off and take the one that you want. So very useful way to um, use them and store your washies. And then for the spools, I saw some ideas on the internet that you can take a plaque of any size or shape and adhere the spools, a couple different spools on them and use it to hang lace and trims or different things in your craft room or put it in your back door when your kids come in they can throw their coats on the different spools and they just take place of a hook or a knob on a coat rack so there are various uses there also I have and you can use any any of the sizes of the spools to do this and you can make a little sign holder or use photos and you can do any kind of style I thought this would be cute like at a wedding baby shower where you want little um, place markers or like I said just to display photos and this is actually a picture of my husband's grandmother so a little nice vintage photo and you can do, I kept them fairly simple but you can decorate them up just as as much as you want it's kind of a fun little piece and the piece in the center that holds the photo I found these at a garage sale. Michael's head was selling these little ornament tops around Christmas time the last few years I believe and with the tops came these little holders that of course you'd squeeze together and put through the hole so I just squeezed those together and put it in the hole in the spool and it made a nice and there's a little slot in there and then it could hold your photos or little notes you could put one at your kids place at their table with a little note like don't forget to take your homework or that kind of thing and speaking of ornaments I just made a, a cute little ornament here and use those ornament hooks that Target puts out it seems like every year and stuck it in there I just took one of these and attached wire to it fed it through and then I could wire up my different beads and stuff to hang off of there but just real simple but real pretty and you could make them of various sizes 
So I really like that. It would be kind of like an old-fashioned Christmas tree. And then one of my favorite things to do with it is the lace roll. Now I made this when I entered a challenge and it was Faith Chick 777 I believe several months ago she did a, a challenge in decorating up a spool and that's really how we got going on making these spools is I asked my husband if he would make me a wooden spool and I wanted it small because I wasn't real comfortable with altering things at that point and I just wanted something simple to enter the challenge with and I just um, used a film strip die cut and attached it to the spool and put some vintage images in there and of course you could do photos or any various things, little notes. And it just rolls up and this side you can decorate however you want. Get a little tiny stick pin in there. And at the end there's a little handle. I found some metal little handles and I colored it up and put a velcro on the back of it so the lace roll can uh, stay closed. But just real fun. It would be fun to give as a Christmas gift because we know that crafting for Christmas is, is steadily approaching. So just kind of a fun thing to do with the spool and you can do it any style and I actually saw Jeanette on Scrap and Happy XO she did a little snippet roll and just used her bits and pieces to decorate a little spool and I'll put the link to her wonderful video below um, to give you some idea how to do that so those are some of the things that I enjoy doing with the spool so I invite you to come over to my store TPG Crafts on Zibit and check out my spools and bobbins and doilies and other things that I offer and I just hope you'll find something that you would enjoy crafting with and I thank you for stopping by and I thank you for your support. Bye!